What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Info Movies. Well, uh, this is the uh, official start, you could say, of my three week uh, quarantine vacation spring break uh, from uh, work. And uh, I just decided, well, you know what? I have a bunch of 4Ks uh, that I still haven't watched. So. I plan on watching a lot of 4Ks uh, in the next few weeks, and uh, just thought, well, I would uh, I would start a series of videos, uh, just basically going over the 4K, uh, what I thought about the picture, about the sound, uh, let you know if it's uh, worth uh, worth upgrading or not, and uh, yeah, it'll be. Uh, be pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to go over like details like in the movie and stuff like that because the majority of these you guys, gals have probably already seen and I'm pretty sure you've already seen this one. Uh, but this is uh, from 2011. We have Captain America the first Avenger. Uh, so the first time that uh, Captain America is introduced uh, into the uh, MCU. Alright so the, uh, uh, the video quality on this um, I liked, like, I liked how the, um, actors and actresses looked, like, the detail of their, their skin, uh, hair color, uh, you know, clothing, uh, uh, you know, the fabric and stuff like that. Uh, I, I pretty much liked all that. Uh, the, um, something that really stands out for the color wise uh, is the uh, tesseract or tesseract itself uh, like like either the, the cube or the uh, or the weaponary uh, uses that it had and stuff like that the uh, the light blue of it uh, it really it really stood out and if you had a kind of like a uh, old fashioned uh, Throughout the whole movie, you pretty much have an old-fashioned type look to it because this movie is set in the in in, in the forties. Uh, whenever uh, you know the Tesseract would be in a scene, uh, that that uh, light blue uh, just just basically just just showed off very uh, very nicely and, and very and very bright. You could tell that you know what it was. All the various um, uh, devices that had it in it, uh, you can cl clearly, uh, um, you know, you know, notice it and stuff like that. Uh, the, uh, I'd say, like, like Red Skull's um, skin, his 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 face, his his, his head was very uh, red. Really tell that uh, the details of the uh, of the uh, skull itself, stuff like that. Um, also the explosions and the fire and, and, uh, stuff like that, uh, looked really great. And, uh, one of the, one of the big negatives, uh, with this movie is that the background seems a bit, like, fuzzy, you could say. Uh, it's not, it's not as clear. Uh, I don't know if that was part of the... Part of the lighting that they decided to use with it, uh, but it's, uh, but you can totally see that the focus is on the on the actors themselves and stuff like that. So background was, like I said, it was fuzzy. Uh, the the picture itself uh, with the uh, with the restoration, uh, I did not notice any. Um, uh, Uh, yeah, it looked, it looked, uh, pretty good. Uh, there was no, oh, it's not coming to me. <laughs> um, noise. It, there wasn't any, uh, you know, 
you know, you know. <laughs> um, I swear these would be better as they go. Uh, <laughs> grain, grain, grain is what I'm talking about. It wasn't any grain. I didn't notice any uh, any, any grainage uh, in the film. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I would give the video quality a um, like a B plus or so, uh, just because the uh, the uh, background uh, wasn't as uh, clear uh, and and detailed and so like that. Uh, but a lot of the other stuff uh, really really stood out. Uh, the sound quality on here, you know, a lot of people have a problem with the sound, uh, but I think the sound sounded great on my sound bar, and um, there was, uh, you, could, you could hear the dialogue clearly, uh, the action, you know, it sounded great, uh, and uh, yeah, I didn't really have any problems with it. Uh, Might have had the sound bar turned up a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, but hey, when you got it, you know, go ahead and turn it up. Um, so I would give the sound about an A minus or so. So all in all, uh, for the uh, 4K um, uh, quality uh, restoration, uh, I think I'm going to give it um, probably like a, like a, uh, low A minus. Yeah, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking an A minus for the for the whole thing as it is. So anywhere from a from an eight to an eight point five uh, uh, out of ten. Uh, and the movie itself is uh, it's 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 starting to grow on me ever since 2015. Ever since I started up Letterbox, uh, I've seen the movie. I think it's been like five times. Um, so it's still. It's still between seven and a half and an eight out of ten range. Um, it's not. It's, it's still the bottom, like the bottom five of the MCU, um, and I don't think that it'll ever get back up into the top ten or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so that's just uh, my 4K uh, review of of uh, Captain America: The First Avenger. Um, do I recommend that you that you pick it up, that you upgrade from the Blu-ray? Uh, it's totally up to you. Most likely, if you are a MCU fan, if you are a Captain America fan, Marvel fan, uh, you probably already have the restoration. So, and you know, the cool thing is, is that it does come uh, with the Blu-ray, and we got some uh, cool disc art, disc art there, and. MCU was very generous, so very nice, nice clear case there. So yeah, that's just about it for Captain America: The First Avenger. Uh, like I said, these uh, for, these uh, 4K reviews are, are going to be very uh, random. Um, I don't have a specific like, uh, you know, I'm going to do this movie, this movie, and this movie, and this movie. It's it's a uh, it's it's very random, um, so. Never know what uh, what I'm gonna review next. So yeah. So uh, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell notification. Uh, I'm like I said, I plan on popping popping out a bunch of these uh, short uh, 4K uh, reviews, and uh, in the next uh, few weeks. And uh, yeah, uh, hit that bell. Like I said, hit that bell notification, obviously. Uh, and then uh, comment down below your thoughts on the uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, you know, the 4K, the Blu-ray, the movie in general. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I will see you uh, probably in a few hours. So, alright. Bye-bye.